This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. What's up, everybody? Marco here from the Heavy Hitter Club with another chat GBT prompt. Today, what we're going to do is we are going to build an HTML website from scratch. No coding knowledge, no CSS knowledge, no PHP. I mean, nothing. We are going to have ChatGPT do it all for us. So with that, I have these uh, these shortcuts here. I can just click on that or I can go to chat.openai.com. For those of you who don't have it, request it. Uh, you can use the free version, except, uh, okay, so uh, let's talk about that for a second. The free version sometimes keeps you out, sometimes kicks you out. Sometimes you, you, know, you get stuck a lot. Sometimes it doesn't give you the output that you want. Not to say that plus doesn't do it. Doesn't generally kick you out. It can be slow at times and it's better at the output, but still be careful with the output. Still take a look because we don't have all of the control that we need in here. We have to insert all of the controls, all of the parameters that we want using the prompt. So with that, you have the uh, default GBT 3.5, and it tells you here, you know, the, the reasoning, it's faster, but uh, reasoning and concise, not so much. You have the legacy GBT, and it tells you reasoning, okay, speed, not so good, and concise, really not good. Then you have the GBT4, and it tells you really good reasoning, conciseness is good, speed, not so good. So you, you have trade-offs, right? I'm not going to go any more into that. What I'm going to do right now is go right ahead and pull up the prompt. As you know, I always started off with forget all previous prompts, even if I don't have any prompts, even though I can click new here. This is just how I do it. It's good practice for me. So I'm going to tell it, you're an expert. Please remember, don't say, pretend, let's make believe, let's play, let, because it will pretend and make believe and play and, and it'll do all kinds of weird stuff. Don't give it room to wiggle. You're an expert in building HTML websites with inline CSS. You are also a content writing expert with in-depth knowledge, in-depth knowledge about coffee. Now here we can get really intricate. We can go into the prompt that I shared about the, the 1500 word article or so and, and insert the literary devices about how to write and what to write and all of these other things. For now, I'm going to keep that out. We're going to, we're going to focus on building the website, but I do want seed content just to see what it looks like. I'm going to tell it to build me an HTML website that talks about the health benefit, the health benefits of coffee. I'm going to tell it to write unique headings, H1s, H2s, H H3s, a couple of paragraphs of content for the main health benefits of coffee, and bullet points for each heading. I'm going to tell it, uh, check this out, give me a red re rectangle outline for the areas where, where images should be added, or I can say where I should add images. And I want these images to be standard, 400 pixels in height, and 600 in width. And I want you to, to insert this in the code of the images. Each, each heading should have an image placeholder. I am also going to tell it to add a header menu with home, about, coffee benefits, and contact. Contact, let's say contact us as the menu items. I am also going to tell it. So, so from here, we're, we're already controlling what our website is going to look like. I'm going to tell it to make the website with 80% of the screen. And I'm going to tell it to make the website responsive so that it fits the different screens that people can access this from. In addition, I am going to tell it to use the fonts, colors, and general layout of this website. Since it's coffee, I just went and looked. Uh, this website came up neither good nor bad. I'll show you. I, I want you to see this because then you can select a website that you like and you can use it 
to guide the bot into giving you the the type of website that you like. So let's just go take a look real quick. Oh, that inserted a, an emoji. We don't want that. So yeah, you know, I like this. And then I could actually go in here into the code. For those of you who don't know code, I don't want to do that. But I can grab some of the CSS from here and I can grab some of this background. I can do a lot once I have this and once I've worked out the prompt. But just to finish this off, I'm going to tell it, ask questions before you start writing. And I'm going to tell it, sometimes it ignores this prompt. So I'm going to say, do not write unless you ask questions first. Do you understand? I'm going to go ahead and select this whole text, copy it. I'm going to insert it into the prompt area. I'm going to go back up, make sure I got everything. Okay. Forget our previous prompts and guys, this quick, I'm going to have an HTML website. Now, I know I've been talking for about five, six minutes, but once you insert this, check this out. It's going to come back and say, yes, you know, I understand. And I'm going to, I'm just going to let you watch this as it builds back uh, or as it writes back the instructions that I've given it. That's what it's going to do. It's inspired by the design of best coffee guide. I'm ready to create the website for you. So it doesn't have any questions. I'm going to tell it to please continue. And off it goes. Here's the HTML website with uh, inline CSS as per your requirements. And off it goes. And guys, the good thing about this is that you can follow along and now you know what you should be inserting. If you're building HTML websites, you need the language. English. So if you're writing in Spanish, it's ES. If you're writing in whatever language, it's there. It's going to give you, oh, I didn't tell it to, well, it, it, it gave me a title, but I didn't tell it to write a meta description. So while it's doing that, I'm going to go in here and H2, H3, right? I'm going to tell it in here. And I can tell it the number of characters or the length of the meta description. But what I, what I want you to see from here is that now you can start looking at, at the CSS and see how it works. So for the header, there's the color, the font weight, and text decoration. There's your H1s, H2s, H3s. They're going to be aligned and that, uh, centered, excuse me. And that's the color. So each one of these are paragraphs and font size and color. So you can see here how the code works and it's continuing to write. It's giving me the image placeholder, although it didn't write the 400 by 600, but I, I, I can find, and I can show you places where, where you can find how to insert that in HTML, or I could just go back and correct it. I just don't, don't want to spend too much time on here doing this. I just want you guys to see it and how it works and how it's coding it so that it does what I've asked it to do, which is make sure that this is responsive. Make sure that it looks like this other website or it has that look, that feel. And on and on and on it goes. It's giving me an H1, H2, H3. It's giving me the image placeholders. And it's, already, it's, it's also giving me the image alt tag so that I don't forget. So there it is. Now what I'm going to do is take that, oh, I could have just copied it here. Take where it says copy, co copy code. I can take a blank notepad, paste it in there. And then what I'm going to do from here is file, save as. Now, I don't, don't ask me how to do this in, in Apple Mac or anything else. Apple, I don't know. I don't know, but HTML website example and in here I'm going to change txt to all files and I'm going to add .html that's the extension that you want for this 
and I'm going to save it into my desktop. Save, and then I'm going to pull it up. Excuse me for looking away, I'm going to another screen. But that HTML website example is in my desktop and I am going to double click on it. And there it is. There it is. That quickly, it's given me a responsive website with image placeholders. And now, as you can see, this is very basic. It's given me this color for the header. If you don't want to change it, you can make it bigger. You can add a, a logo. You can add a lot of elements. You can go and look at, at, at the HTML of another website and look at the elements they've inserted. You can go and look at the CSS of other websites and look at the elements that they've inserted. Now watch how cool this is. Because as I said, we're going to build a website. So next on here, I already have the prompt. Let me go back here. I already have the prompt in there for the website. This is supposed to remember the conversation. So now I'm going to tell it, build me, uh, contact us page with, I shouldn't be doing this in, in the chat. I, as I've told you, you should work or engineer your prompt separately. So let's go here. Build me a contact us page with the fields, with the fields. First name, last name, and let's say we're going to collect email address. I'm going to tell it to make the website, make the, the form. So here we go. Copy that in it. Make the page and form responsive. Use the font colors and general layout of this website as a guideline. Off we go. Paste that in there. And it's going to give me the contact us page. We're 12 minutes in. And we're building a website and we're having chat GPT do it. We're not doing it. We're just creating the prompts for this to do this. If it gets stuck, you guys already know, just hit more please or please continue however way you want to do it. Off it goes. You can see it. And again, you can look at the CSS. You can look at how this is being written. Remember, I didn't, I didn't ask for a description. So what I'll do right now is go in here build it with the fields uh, first, uh, make sure you insert a unique meta description. I'm not going to do it now because I'm not going to start it over. I don't want to spend too much time on this. I want to show you guys how quick this can be for you, how simple it can be. You don't need to know code. You just need to know prompt engineering. You don't need to be a prompt engineer. You don't have to know Python to be a, 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 a let's say a certified prompt engineer. You should know Python. You should know how to install chat, chat GPT in a server and then start controlling it from there, start building your own prompts, start building your own functions into it. That quickly though, I have a form. Copy the code. And again, I'll open a notepad, paste it in there, file, save as. Again, I don't know in Mac or Apple or anything like that. All files, I'm gonna call it contact us.html. And I'm going to save it into my desktop. I'm going to look away for a moment. Please excuse me. And I'm going to double click on that contact us. And there it is. So if it's too wide, you just tell it to make it smaller, to make the, 
to make the fields, uh, you can cut them by half. You can cut them, I don't know, to so many characters. This is up to you and how you want it to look. Now, I didn't ask it for this, but it, it even gave me a submit button. So now you can you can hook this up to go to your email. When they click on submit, you would code that in. You would tell ChatGPT to do that. The last part of this, I'm not going to write coffee benefits. I already have the benefits of coffee. I have the prompts to write the article for that page. So I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do though, is go back to my prompt uh, let me see. It's this one. And in here, build me an about us page for a generic company that uh, writes about the health benefits of coffee and I can go back in here and say uh, use the previous prompts use all of these previous descriptions use all of these different things that I've given you but really what I want here is just to test this simple prompt to see how it continues with the previous conversation because it should remember this prompt up here and how I want it and it should know already because I've given it twice that this is the website we use as a guideline and off it goes and we are 16 minutes into this and I, I talk a lot but I just want to make sure guys that, that, that you know that you understand how simple this is to do off it goes it's writing it, it, it's going to give you again meta description include that in there so that you don't have to go back and correct it. Include anything that you want on there. Include any notes, include any like the images you can even include in those placeholders. You can even do the links to the images and then you can upload everything into a hosting account. Maybe at some future point, I'll show you how that's done, how to build a complete website and upload it to a hosting account. But what's important about this, for those of you doing SEO, And if you're buying expired domains, look at how simple it would be for you to resurrect that expired domain with unique content. Don't reuse or rebuild the expired domain exactly like it was because that could be copyrighted and you can get sued and you can get into a lot of trouble for doing that. So you can keep it relevant. You can keep the incoming links because that's why you would be buying that expired domain because of the metrics that it had before it expired. And then you can look at this. We're, we're, we're not even 20 minutes into this recording and we already have, let me copy that, copy the code. And again, I'm going to open a blank notepad, paste it in there, file, save as and i'm going to call it about us that html but i have to change this to all files and i'm going to save it into my desktop again i'm going to look away please excuse me double click on about us pull it up here and there it is i didn't tell it to add images i didn't tell it you know how to do all that you now have the prompts to do all this you can change the colors you can change the scheme, you can change the layout, you can do it two column, three column, whatever it is you want it to do, you can get it to do. Hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, see ya. This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.